Hi, I'm Mike Davenport, Louisville Chevy Dude here at Bachman Chevrolet in Louisville, Kentucky. Today is the 14th of June, 2014, and behind me I've got a 2SS Camaro that is being recalled because of this key. What's wrong with this key in the ignition? I think it's something silly, but GM and every other car manufacturer is being very cautious on recalls and making sure that uh, nothing silly happens. So the recall is on this key and basically to the best of my knowledge what they're going to do is have you come in and give you a key like this now, the old traditional key. Now Volkswagen has been using the other key for years and no, no issues so I don't know what the issue is now. Let me show you what the recall is and how it can affect you and how you can prevent this not happening. caveat to this demonstration and I know there's another demonstration out there like it but I'm six foot three and uh, I usually have my seat all the way back I'm gonna push my seat up some uh, which you'll see me move here in the video and see if I can get this ignition to shut itself off so here is the key going in and I'm in a manual transmission 2SS car I also have this nice little key tag on here too. And I'll take that off here in a second, but I'm gonna leave it on for right now for demonstration purposes. So you can see how far my knee is away. And I got my foot on the brake right now, so it's pretty far away. For me to move it, okay, so I'm coming, there I'm back to the gas. I've moved my knee pretty far. Now, I have a great deal of travel to get to my key of my car okay I've scooted my butt all the way to the front edge of the car and now I'm now I'm touching the key okay so here I'm gonna move the seat forward in a very uncomfortable position and I'm now moving up so again I'm six foot three and I've got the seat all the way to the top right now okay so now there, I just hit it and it went off. Six foot three, seat all the way up, not all the way forward, but all the way up to get that done. In the event of an accident, by the time your knee hits that key, the airbags are already gonna be deployed and start deflating, if not already deflated. So I don't think that's an issue, but I'm not an engineer and uh, uh, I don't know all the details of what GM knows. So here is the seat, I've went down to about midway and again I'm bringing my knee up and I can't hit it you can hear the you can hear it moving I can't hit my elbow or my knee is hitting the key and I've got this big thing on here okay so uh, simulating keys on your on a or, a or anything like that keys on your key ring it's just not doing it I can't get underneath this to hit it okay let's use my hand Okay, now let's be steady with it. Okay, look, the key ring is breaking. Okay. There it just went off. The key ring broke for this to come off. Start her again. And now let me get one of my other sales guys and have him do it. He's gonna be a little bit shorter Here than I've I am. I've got one of my colleagues, Arturo, and he's a little bit shorter than I am. And I'm gonna show you what a uh, someone who's not 6'3", touching this steering wheel, uh, kicking and kicking it up with their knee, so on and so forth, on the so Here we have Arturo in the seat. The steering wheel is telescoped all the way out, and it is in its utmost right position. So go ahead, Arturo. So up goes his knee, can't do it. So now we're gonna do the seat, uh, or excuse me, the steering wheel in the all the way lower position. Reach it. Be real aggressive with it. Try to try to do it. Can't do it. Try it real hard now. Got it. Finally. 
44 seconds to do it. So there's my demonstration and Arturo's demonstration on the key fob recall on the Camaro. Um, again, I'm not an engineer and I don't pretend to be. I'm just a normal guy. I sell a lot of cars. I love doing it. I love helping my customers. And the first thing I want is safety. Um, firefighter for a long time, so safety is absolutely the most important thing. My mother-in-law drives one of these cars, as I've said in other videos, and I want her safe. You know, if my son's driving her car or kids or whatever the case may be, I want them safe. I wouldn't hesitate a minute to drive this car. So again, I think what's going to happen is the key fob that I showed you up front, they're going to change to a traditional key fob on the car. So uh, a key fob with a normal key rather than having the inlaid key uh, as Volkswagen has used for years and so on and so forth. So I hope this was a good demonstration. If you have questions on anything, please feel free. I'm not doing this as a biased opinion. I'm strictly doing it to show that I think it's something so silly. Drive safe. Know that the key is safe. Um, hopefully soon that the GM has got us so we can deliver these cars. You can buy them. We're not selling them. Uh, excuse me, we're not delivering to the customer. I sold one yesterday uh, that the car sat on my showroom floor and we gave the customer a loaner car. So uh, go buy your Camaro. I think it's a safe car. I don't think there's any issues with it. And uh, again, this isn't a biased video. It's, I think I did it non-biased, to be honest with you. I tried to be aggressive with it. So, and I had, I had another person who's shorter than me be aggressive with it. So again, come buy the car. I think it's a safe car. And uh, if there's anything I can do for you, please stop by and see me here at Bachman Chevrolet in Louisville, Kentucky. My name is Mike Davenport. I am Louisville's Chevy dude. I'm the top guy here, one of the top in the country and the most reviewed salesperson uh, in Kentucky and, and uh, Southern Indiana. Thanks again. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Share my video and drive safely.